Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll delve into a fascinating topic. Why China thrives without the most advanced AI chips. Despite not relying on cutting-edge chips, Chinese AI companies continue to flourish, expanding their large language models. So keep watching. There's much more to explore. Before we begin, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more content like this one. Thank you in advance. Let's continue. Under the US sanctions, several Chinese high-tech companies have been impacted. Let's delve into the details. 1. Huawei Technologies Company Huawei, a major Chinese tech giant, has faced significant restrictions due to US sanctions. These restrictions have affected its ability to access American technology and components. 2. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp. SMIC SMIC, a leading semiconductor manufacturer in China, has also been targeted by US sanctions. The restrictions limit its access to advanced chipmaking technology. 3. Hangzhou Hikvision Digital Technology Company Hikvision, a company specializing in surveillance and security solutions, has faced sanctions. These measures impact its growth and access to critical technologies. 4. Cambricon Technologies Corp. Cambricon known for its AI chips, has seen its stock prices surge despite the sanctions. Analysts believe there is still room for growth in this sector. 5. Yangtze Memory Technologies Company Yangtze Memory Technologies caught Apple's attention as a potential supplier for iPhone flash memory. This highlights the rise of indigenous Chinese names in the tech industry. 6. Other Chinese Chipmakers Beyond the mentioned companies, there are numerous other Chinese chipmakers and suppliers of design software, processors, and essential gear vital to chip production. These firms are expanding revenue and contributing to China's self-sufficiency in the supply chain. NVIDIA, despite facing US sanctions, has navigated the complex landscape to provide AI chips for the Chinese market. Here are some of the steps NVIDIA has taken. 1. First-generation China GPUs Initially, NVIDIA introduced GPUs specifically designed for China. However, these were banned in October 2023 due to sanctions. 2. Second-generation China GPUs NVIDIA is now launching a new generation of AI GPUs for China. These GPUs are currently being sampled with clients and are expected to comply with regulations without requiring a license. NVIDIA cut down its A100 and H100 cards and turned them into the A800 and H800, which were still plenty fast. The second round of sanctions made these GPUs too fast to sell in China, and NVIDIA's second generation of sanctions-compliant GPUs are even cut down and slower. 3. Challenges and Competition Unlike their predecessors, these second-generation GPUs face tougher competition. U.S. sanctions limit NVIDIA from selling its top-end Ampere, Hopper, and Lovelace GPUs in China. The company has had to adapt by creating sanctions-compliant versions, which are cut down and slower. Despite these limitations, NVIDIA aims to compete successfully in the Chinese market. 4. Huawei's High Silicon Ascend 910B Huawei's Ascend 910B, comparable to NVIDIA's H20, provides competition. Although NVIDIA's best GPUs would dominate if unrestricted, the sanctions have reshaped the playing field. The performance comparison between traditional GPUs and AI GPUs is complex, as it depends on various factors such as workload, architecture, and optimization. However, I'll provide some insights based on available data. 1. Parallel Processing Efficiency AI GPUs excel in parallel processing making them highly efficient for AI workloads. They can handle multiple tasks simultaneously, which is crucial for training large neural networks. Traditional GPUs are also parallel processors but may not be as optimized for AI-specific tasks. 2. Energy Efficiency AI GPUs are designed with energy efficiency in mind. They perform complex calculations while consuming less power, making them suitable for prolonged use. Traditional GPUs deliver computational power but may sacrifice energy efficiency due to higher power consumption and heat generation. 3. AI-specific features 
AI GPUs often include specialized features like tensor cores, which accelerate matrix operations commonly used in neural networks. Traditional GPUs lack these AI-specific features and may not achieve the same level of performance for deep learning tasks. 4. Software Optimization AI GPUs benefit from software optimizations tailored for neural network workloads. Libraries like CUDA and TensorRT enhance performance. Traditional GPUs may not have the same level of software optimization for AI tasks. 5. Comparative Performance It's challenging to directly equate the performance of traditional GPUs to AI GPUs. However, in some cases, one high-end AI GPU, for example, NVIDIA A100, can outperform multiple traditional GPUs, e.g., NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, in AI workloads. The exact ratio depends on the specific workload and model complexity. 6. Considerations. AI GPUs are purpose-built for AI and machine learning tasks, offering superior performance for these workloads. Traditional GPUs remain versatile and are excellent for gaming, graphics rendering, and general-purpose computing. In summary, while it's challenging to provide an exact equivalence, one high-end AI GPU often delivers performance comparable to several traditional GPUs when handling AI workloads. Several high-tech companies in China have indicated their reluctance to purchase NVIDIA's slower AI chips. Notable companies include 1. Alibaba Group Alibaba, a major cloud operator in China, has suggested that it plans to order significantly fewer GPU products from NVIDIA this year due to the ban on the hardware they were interested in. 2. Tencent. Another prominent cloud operator, Tencent, is also exploring alternatives closer to home, including domestically manufactured rival silicon, rather than relying on NVIDIA's downgraded chips. 3. Baidu. Baidu, a leading Chinese tech company, is likely following a similar path, seeking alternatives to NVIDIA's products. 4. ByteDance, TikTok, ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, has also expressed reduced interest in NVIDIA's slower AI chips. These companies are exploring options within China, considering alternatives from domestic tech giants like Huawei and others. The performance gap between these alternatives and NVIDIA's downgraded chips appears to be narrowing, prompting a shift in their purchasing decisions. Considering China's abundant electricity supply, competitive electricity costs, vast land resources, and government subsidies, Chinese high-tech companies are well-positioned to develop AI-related features and functions that rival, if not surpass, those of their counterparts. While the market price for an H100 PCIe card typically hovers around $30,000, on platforms like eBay, H100 GPUs have been listed for over $40,000 due to their popularity and scarcity. Despite the challenges posed by sanctions and restricted access to cutting-edge AI GPU chips, Chinese high-tech firms can still advance their research and development efforts. They can leverage existing GPUs, allocate more land space for data centers, expand server racks, optimize power consumption, and even consider purchasing additional traditional GPUs. In this way, they continue to innovate and contribute to the evolving landscape of artificial intelligence. That's all for now. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and share our video. Thank you so much for watching.